Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad ayyul habita fillah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and forgive you and bless us to be of those who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and hate to leave off the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with genuine love for Allah azza wa jal and for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and for the salaf of this ummah radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in beginning with the sahaba of rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in and may allah bless us to have love in our hearts for ahl bayt radiyallahu ta'ala and all of the muslims and love iman and detest kufr in a beautiful hadith of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you find in sahihain which illustrates the importance of also loving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hating for the sake of Allah azza wa jal. In this beautiful hadith, which shows us about the sweetness of Iman, and may Allah bless us all with the sweetness of Iman. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said as in the hadith of Anas, radiyallahu ta'ala, thalatha man kuna fihi wajid halawat al-Iman. أن يكون الله ورسوله أحب إليه مما سواهما وأن يحب المرأة مرئي وأن يحب المرأة مرأة لا يحبه إلا لله وأن يكره أن يعود في كفر كما يكره أن يقذف أن يقذف في النار The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith of Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, three have tasted the sweetness of Iman. He said, and that if three, that if they find this within themselves, then they have tasted the sweetness of Iman. That Allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam are more beloved to him than anything else and that he loves a person only loving him strictly for the sake of Allah that you find a brother or sister in Islam that you love only for the sake of Allah that's the reason you love them pure iman Islamic Brotherhood and to detest returning to disbelief as much as you detest being thrown in the hellfire that is Iman and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with that type of Iman to actually for those of us who reverted to Islam that we may have tasted both lifestyles. We've had the life of disbelief and the life of Iman. So we've tasted the life of when we were going to the clubs, when we were musicians, when we were doing this, we were doing this. We know those aspects of the dunya and some of those pleasures that we received that were harmful to us, even if we didn't know. And likewise, we've come to Iman and Islam and Deen, come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and earth, the one who created us, the one who gave us the ability and gave us the choice between kufr, imma shakirin wa imma kafura, who's given us both paths to choose from. So we've left that from min dhulamat ila nur, from darkness to light, to come to Allah Azza wa Jal. So tasting both of those aspects of life, and having tasted that, what are the fruits to illustrate that you love Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and you love Islam, that this is a sign of the sweetness of faith, is that you detest going back to that life. That you detest going back to what they referred to as jahiliyyah, pre the pre-Islamic times. 
that you detest going back to your old way of life, that you detest more importantly. We're not talking about just going to the club and having girlfriends and having this and having that. We're not talking about that. That's one aspect of it. But more than that, to actually leave Iman totally, to leave Islam, that's what you detest more than anything. And that's a sign of Iman. That's a sign of the sweetness of Iman, that Iman has come into your heart and settled, is that you detest going back to Kupra. You can't imagine not worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That that's something just so strange and so deplorable to the extent that you detest it as much as you hate to be thrown in the fire because you believe in the hellfire. You believe in Jannah. And you believe in Nar. This is what Iman requires from us. And this is what is Iman. This is the sweetness of Iman. If you reach that level to where you detest going back to that. Because we've seen many people embrace Islam and leave Islam. I've seen many. Especially from my community where there wasn't any students of knowledge. There was no one to teach us. So, so many of us left Islam. I would say amongst my cohorts... In my particular city and state, I would say 70 to 80 percent of the people that I knew uh, that embraced Islam about my time, about my, uh, my cohorts and age and so forth, left Islam. I'd say a good 70 percent. I can think of so many, so many people we used to travel with, we used to do this with, we used to do that with, and they no longer are part of the Muslim community. Wallahu musta'an. So that halawat al iman didn't touch them. It didn't settle in their heart. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal for ikhlas wa thabat ala sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from kulli su wa makruh. And may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere. ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد ذي ديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت وهاب وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم